teacher and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. I hope you found this channel and this video super useful. And if you do, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe to stay up to date with all of my videos. So in today's lesson, we're gonna learn how we can tell if our horn is in B flat or F. Hmm. Now this might sound like a really obvious question, but believe me, if you are a beginner horn player, or if you are a brass teacher who has lots of French horn students, you'll know exactly what I mean, and why it's important to know whether your horn is in B flat or F naturally, or which type of single horn you have. So if you've come to this video and you're looking for a beginner French horn lesson or a tenor horn lesson, then I will pop the links above and below for learning your first note, your first five notes, how to tongue, and lots of other useful tips. So why do I need to know whether my horn is in F or B flat? Isn't it really obvious? Well, if you're a beginner French horn player and perhaps you don't have a regular teacher or maybe you're just confused by what your teacher's told you, this can be a really confusing time. So this video is going to debunk any myths and by the end of this video, you will know whether your horn is in B flat or F and whether it sits naturally in B flat or F if you have a double horn. So why do I need to know whether my horn is in F or B flat? So there's a really simple reason for this, because the B flat side and the F side have different fingerings for the same note. So if you've been playing along with my beginner lessons, learning C and then C, D, E, F and G, and you're thinking, my D doesn't sound the same as Becky's, then this might be the reason. So the first thing to work out is whether your horn is a single horn or a double horn. So you'll see with my horn, this is a double horn because you can see two sets of piping. So there's one set on top and there's one set underneath, which is how we know that this is a double horn because it has two sets of piping. You can see also by looking that this horn is fatter than a single horn, it is wider. Single horns only have one set of tubing. The other way you can tell whether you have a single horn or a double horn is by how many valves it has. So a single horn will typically just have three valves here. And a double horn will have four valves, which includes a thumb valve as well. Now to make things a little bit more complicated, because French horns are pretty complicated instruments, single B flat horns often have a thumb key. So they will often have four valves, which means that you could be doing with a really thin horn that has four valves. If this is the case, then it is in B flat. So if it has one set of tubes and four valves, that means that you have a single horn in B flat. So by now we should know whether we have a single horn or a double horn. So if you have a single horn that has three valves, then you have a single F horn. If you have a single horn with one set of tubes that has four valves, that is a single B flat horn. And if you have a horn that has two sets of tubes and four valves, then you have a double horn on your hands. So a common question that a lot of teachers get, including myself, is that students will have a double horn, so they have two sets of tubing and four valves, but they don't know whether the horn sits naturally without any thumb valve, whether it sits in F or B flat. So they're not sure whether when they press the thumb valve, it's changing the instrument to F or to B flat. So don't panic. So this is probably one of the most common issues that you get with beginner French horn players because there is no manual to this and it's a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna show you a really simple trick to find out whether your horn sits naturally in F or B flat. So one way you can tell whether your horn sits in B flat or F is by trying out the notes. So C is not a good note to try because you can play C on open and it won't tell you whether it's on B flat or the F side. So let's go one up from C and play D. So C and then D sounds like this. So they're notes that are right next to each other. So, what you're going to do is you're going to try starting on C and then we're going to put down 1 and 2, which is the B flat fingering for D. So if my horn sits naturally in B flat, then this will sound exactly the same to the two notes that I just showed you. So let's have a go. We'll start on C and then we'll put down 1 and 2 to see if it's in B flat. So 
that does not sound the same as the two notes I played before. So that means that this instrument must sit in F naturally. So that means that without the thumb valve down, this horn is in F. So I can double check that by playing C and then D using the F side fingering of first valve. And then we'll try it with a thumb valve down using the B flat fingerings. So that shows that my horn is definitely in F naturally and when I press the thumb valve it changes to the B flat side. So you can use other notes to tell whether your horn's in F or B flat naturally, but I chose C and D because they're usually the first two notes that any beginner learns, so it's a really easy way for beginners to tell if their double horn is in F or B flat. If you have any other ways to tell whether your double horn is in F or B flat, then comment below and get in touch. So thank you for watching this Brass Teacher video about how to tell whether you have a double or single horn and whether your double horn is naturally in F or B flat. So for more beginner videos, make sure you hit subscribe to stay up to date with all of my lessons. Even if you're intermediate or advanced and you're looking to improve your technique, make sure you click subscribe to stay up to date with all of my lessons. If you found this video useful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and I will love you forever. And I'll see you in the next video.